Hello, Artful Manifestors. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're receiving a channeled message for you from Archangel Raphael. And to choose your reading, you can choose from one of these crystals. For reading number one, we have the Malachite. For reading number two, we have Ruby Fuchsite. And for reading number three, we have Green Adventuring. If you wish to see the card, let me reveal those now. For reading number one, this is the image. And for reading number two, this is the image. And for reading number three, this is the image. Let your intuition guide you. Whichever image and or crystal you feel most drawn to is probably the reading meant for you. Of course, you're always welcome to listen to two or even all three of the readings as there may be additional messages for you there. The link to all the readings is in the description box below, as long as a list of all the cards that I use during the reading and any links I may have of where you can find the cards. On October 17th, I'll be announcing a winner for a free personalized tarot reading and all you have to do to qualify is give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and type hunter's moon in the comments below good luck hello reading number one you chose the malachite and malachite helps benefit our spiritual growth it increases our ability to meditate it increases our ability to love unconditionally and to feel unconditional love, experience unconditional love. It helps build our intuition. It's beneficial for dream work, protection. It's also called, called the stone of transformation because it helps to heal and transform emotional pain. And the card you chose is card number 40. It says rest. And we see this cup of tea with a book. And, you know, I feel this goes along perfectly with the Malachi and with Archangel Raphael. The whole idea of healing, whether this is a physical healing, an injury, an illness, or an emotional healing taking time to rest and recuperate and and benefiting from things like a nice warm cup of herbal tea um, really caring for the body nurturing yourself taking time to do gentle things with yourself giving yourself compassion all right let's get some oracle cards and see what other messages we have all right we have door to spirit absolutely we talked about you increasing your spiritual growth with the malachite and certainly this is something that archangel Raphael can help you with Many times it is through painful experiences that our spiritual growth leaps forward. So if that's you, please let me know in the comments. When everything's going great, we don't necessarily think about reaching out for help. What other message does Archangel Raphael have for reading number one? I am also getting a message about dream work, about helping you to transform your situation while you dream, uh, connecting with your higher self, your guides, Archangel Raphael and asking them to work on your physical and subtle bodies while you sleep, visualizing this through meditation and as you fall asleep, bringing in your guides and angels to assist you and 
that will help to amplify your efforts in recovery. The Temple Path, yes. Definitely a huge leap in your spiritual um, growth. So whatever it is that may be feeling challenging at this time, again, if it's physical or emotional, mental, I see that this is the catalyst that motivates you, inspires you to reach out to spirit. And then because of this, you will see a, an increase in your ability to communicate with spirit. All right, let's get some more messages. What message does Archangel Raphael have for reading number one? All right. Uh, I feel like both of these wanted to come out, so let's take both of them. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found, thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. And again, for some reason, I'm hearing that you can do this with your dream. As you fall asleep, you can think about, you can ask yourself, your guides, your higher self, where is this thing that you lost? If it's a physical thing, help me to find it. Help me to remember when I wake up and you will. And in some cases, it could be something intangible like your motivation, your peace, your happiness, um, a feeling rather than a tangible thing like a pair of sunglasses. Wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. I love that. You're getting a time period. So this is a timeless reading, but at the time that I'm doing this reading is the beginning of fall. So I'm hearing maybe within three to four months, something that you are working towards can manifest in your life. So that's wonderful. All right, let's get some tarot cards and see what other message Archangel Raphael has for you. What message does Archangel Raphael have for reading number one? All right, these two want to come out. Six of Fire, victory, good news is on its way, public recognition and awards. Yes, so you are getting ready to complete something, achieve something. And the Six of Earth, so two sixes, gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. Wow. Balancing, balancing your finances, balancing your energy. Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. Wow, this all seems to really be going along together. So whatever this, and this could be something from the past, this recovery. Some of you may have already gone through this and it already opened this door to spirit, it already opened this path to increasing your spiritual connection, your spiritual awareness. Maybe that for some of you, that was something that you lost. Maybe this is something that you really engaged in years ago and now you're finding it again and it's helping you to create these new opportunities. Wow. Five of water. So this is like the five of cups, feeling disappointed, um, not seeing the positive in a situation. So it could be 
that it is a blessing in disguise. And the important thing is to not focus on what has been spilled or missed and focus on what you still have and remain excited for the possibilities of what's to come. And in that way, you can navigate the energies. The Hermit, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. So if you do notice in your journey that you experience something that feels like a missed opportunity or disappointment, catch yourself before you spiral down and ask yourself, ask your guides, your angels to show you what, what is the benefit of this situation? Let's see what good comes out of this. Rather than allowing yourself to give energy, momentum to the that situation or that feeling that you don't want to experience, as quickly as you can, catch it, release it, and ask yourself, ask your guides, your angels, what good will come out of this? Let's see what good can come out of this. Look for that silver lining. Sometimes something that is missed, it really is a blessing in disguise. I'm, I'm seeing, for example, someone who had plans to do something and those plans fell through. So you could, you know, um, kind of focus on the fact that you didn't get to do whatever this thing was. Or you can see how it opened up space and time for you to experience something else, which may be a much better experience for you than what was planned. All right, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The wheel, Archangel Michael, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Yes, so again, if something in the next three or four months happens that feels like it's not what you expected or disappointing, like you missed an opportunity, something like that, just know um, that you're being invited to adjust your vibration in that moment, your focus, put your focus on what you want rather than the feeling of of being disappointment or missing something, whether you feel like it's a mistake, regret, or something, some external force and ha experience some kind of resentment. Instead, focus on the possibilities, the excitement of, oh, just know, spirit has my back, and this is aligning me with something greater than what I had even imagined and have that expectation. This is part of kind of your initiation or practice, practicing using your energy and magicking in what it is that you want. And I'm so happy for you that, you know, we're doing a reading with Archangel Raphael and Archangel Raziel and Archangel Michael both made an appearance as well. So any of these angels you can call on to ask you for your assistance, plus your own personal guardian angels, your own favorite angels, your guides, your higher self. These are all beneficial energies to help you. But what I see is that you're really improving your situation that there are new opportunities coming your way that are really going to pay off. I mean, you have the wheel of fortune. So positive changes are coming your way. I would say within the next few months, something that you've really been hoping for, maybe perhaps something that you thought you had lost. And isn't it interesting that we have lost and found and five of water here? You're going to find it, but 
I feel that it's not just finding a tangible object, although for some of you that it may be that. I feel this is a state of being that it felt like you lost. Like maybe you felt like you lost your energy, your oomph, your motivation, your creativity, your inspiration, any of those things, all of those things, your joy. And I feel that there's something happening that's balancing your energy and that state of being is being returned to you and amplified. It's not going to be like it was in the past. It's going to be even better, more exciting. Wow. It feels very adventurous and happy, but also very content and peaceful. Reading number one. I hope this helps. I'm wishing you the best. Please let me know how this resonates. I love to hear your take on what the cards are saying to you and how it applies to your own personal life. You're always welcome to reach out to me for additional guidance by connecting with me through my website. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you. Bye. Hello, reading number two. You chose the Ruby Zoe site, which offers you protection and increases your feelings of serenity, encourages creativity, empowerment, helping you to return to your objectives after being interrupted. It allows you to express your individuality and it helps you to achieve deep meditation, allowing you to connect to your spirit guides. It also helps facilitate emotional healing and increases positive feelings. And you chose the card Roots, card number 52. And I'm hearing that you're very down to earth. You know, with the Ruby Zoisite, I feel that you're uh, very, it, it's connected to the root chakra. And then here we have roots. So something about how you ground yourself, how you feel safe and secure. I see you standing on the ground, walking barefoot, doing things perhaps just intuitively, not even consciously aware of what you're doing it, what you're doing, but kind of your body just leads you to doing things that are very grounding or um, that that you're very connected to your body in a very intuitive way. So you may just spontaneously start stretching or doing things and really not even think about it while you're doing it, but you're just very connected to your body and to the earth. Wow, thank you. All right, let's get some Oracle cards. See what other messages Archangel Raphael has for you today, reading number two. What message does Archangel Raphael have for reading number two? All right, Angel of Balance. Yeah, and you know, look, I mean, this looks like some kind of potion. And with these roots, I can see perhaps you making some kind of potions, like being a, a kitchen witch or growing things in your garden and being very natural. And, you know, uh, the word witch, you know, don't take that too literally, although if you identify as a witch, great but just meaning that you're a very natural person that may grow your own herbs or vegetables and you may make tea with things that you grow, um, eat the things that you grow. The thinking man, All right. And we see somebody here with crystals again. So, you know, these crystals come out of the earth but we'll see if this thinking man has anything else within its message, like something about 
being logical, um, analytical, but I feel that you're very balanced, like left brain, right brain, both intuitive and logical. Let's get some more clues. If you hear noises in the background, those are the dogs. And you can see <laughs> pictures of them on Instagram. I laugh because sometimes they sigh. I don't know if you heard that little sigh after I mentioned them. What message does Archangel Raphael have for reading number two? Life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Wow, but look at the image. I feel like the image really is important in what Archangel Raphael is trying to convey. Look at these little tendrils. Now they may be ribbons, but they kind of look like these roots. It's like you're so plugged in and connected. You may even have this visualization in your own mind's eye of how you are connected to the earth, how you're connected to the cosmos. But do you see these little tendrils? They're like roots, these energetic roots that branch out. It even looks almost like leaves, like palm fronds growing out of her head. All right, let's get some tarot cards and see what other messages we can get. What message does Archangel Raphael have for reading number two? I'm really loving your energy. It just feels like somebody that would live out in nature and be so connected and know about different plants and what they can be used for. I think this one wants to hop out. Oh, two. All right, we have seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. I see you having the vantage point in some situation. Two of air. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, Pretending no, there is no problem. All right. This could be what this angel of balance and thinking man are here for. Queen of air. Independent, experienced, realistic, witty, objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. And look at them look in a crystal ball. Perhaps you are divining. It's like you're, you know, with this thinking man and then the queen of air, it's like you're really taking into account the whole situation, all the factors, all the key elements, the players, and then discerning what almost like predicting. Remember I said you're very balanced, like you have intuition and you have strong analytical logical skills. So it's like combining those two abilities to their fullest so that you can, it's almost like you're predicting the future. Um, it's like you're increasing the probability of you being correct about a situation. But you're discerning. I, I see you being fair and making choices that will benefit everyone involved. Let's get some more clues. Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. All right, so perhaps this decision is 
um, and this defending your beliefs, decisions. You have two cards that say decisions on them. And then it says objective decision making. Wow. So what I see is maybe you are making a decision that affects your career or how you obtain uh, resources, maybe a creative endeavor that has um, the potential to increase your income or to gain financial compensation. Because here, right after all of these decisions, 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 we have the thinking man. Then you have the inflow of abundance. Trust your intuition. I see that you will trust your intuition, but you also will make wise choices. The Ten of Fire. Okay, too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Let's get another card. What does Archangel Raphael want? Reading number two now at this time. The King of Fire. All right. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. I see you looking at your resources and how you can support yourself with these roots. It's like, what is sustainable? What is nurturing you uh, financially? What's nurturing you emotionally? And with all these decisions, and then the thinking man and the king of fire, some of you may even be consulting somebody helpful, a professional. So for example, let's say you get a bonus or uh, a raise, uh, a new job, somehow your income is increased, but you want to be wise and plan for your future and perhaps make some investments. Maybe you're thinking about doing something like cryptocurrency. Uh, what I see is that there may be someone that who has done it before that can um, advise you about this, the best way to invest this money. And it doesn't have to be an, an, a financial investment like in stocks or cryptocurrency. It could be some other way that you are working towards increasing your finances. But there is a possibility if you're having trouble making a decision, um, I see you being cautious and strategic and wanting to make the right choice what I see is that there is a person available to you that could help you uh, make this decision. And the reason I say that I see you increasing your finances is because you have this ace of earth, the inflow of abundance. This could be a, a new job opportunity, a promotion, a raise, a new creative venture, you starting your own business. So this professional may help you write a resume, may help you uh, start the ball rolling, filling out forms for registering your tax ID, your business name, all kind, making a website, all kinds of these things. And with the Ten of Fire, this is also why I see you asking somebody for help. Because if you do, if you try to do everything yourself, if you try to build your website and create the content and create the services, create the products, the goods, register your name, do all of those things, it may be overwhelming, especially if you have some other obligations that you are currently still responsible for. 
So maybe if possible, delegating some of these things to a professional can save you time and can um, increase your visibility and increase your odds of success in the long run. But it looks really good. Also with roots, what I'm hearing is that this is like the groundwork. You're laying the foundation for your future. Many times when we see a plant or a tree that's young, or, you know, it may look small to us. We know it hasn't grown to its full potential. It hasn't begun to bear fruit, so to speak, but it's developing its roots. So I feel like you are at this foundational stage and it's vital to lay good roots to support everything because the roots really seem to be important in this message. Wow. And if you are having difficulty making a decision at this time, remember you can invite Archangel Raphael to assist you. This is one of the things that people will petition Archangel Raphael for. Ask for a sign. Ask for a very specific sign. Uh, ask to be shown how you know, how to proceed and Archangel Raphael will show it to you. Then just look for evidence of those answers to be provided. Wow. What are you doing reading number two? If you are starting some new chapter, business, new career, uh, getting a promotion, please let us know. Very exciting. I do see it paying off. Just that added little tweak of, you know, Make it a little bit easier on yourself and delegate some of the things that maybe aren't your favorite things anyways. Save yourself some time and make sure that you're doing the absolute wisest choice. I'm wishing you the best. I have no doubt that you will make the right decision in whatever this endeavor happens to be. You're always welcome to reach out to me for additional guidance through my website. Wishing you the best. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you. Bye. Hello, reading number three. Welcome. You chose the Moss Agate. I believe I may have called it Green Aventurine in the intro, but it is Moss Agate. And it helps to balance our yin and yang energies. It increases our focus and patience. It's considered a lucky stone and attracts wealth and prosperity. Aids in budding new friendships and encourages personal growth. You also chose card number 41, Temperance. And I do see a change happening where you are bringing things into balance. I'm hearing medicine, um, food as medicine, balancing what we consume. We see this snake around a glass and we know snakes can be venomous and what we consume can help us in excess, uh, it can also harm us. So bringing things into balance. All right, let's get some Oracle cards first and see what messages does Archangel Raphael have for reading number three at this time. What message does Archangel Raphael have for reading number three? All right, we have a door to personal healing and happiness. Certainly, Archangel Raphael does help with healing and adjacent possibilities. Okay, so we have two cards with doors. And this is card 41. We have 34. We have 24. Lots of fours. All right, let's 
Let's get some more cards and see what other clues we can get. But I do hear that there are opportunities opening up to you. And it's like one opportunity leads to another opportunity. All right, moon energy. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. All right. And Archangel Raphael does assist with decision-making or life changes. All right, let's get some tarot and see what other information we can get. What does Archangel Raphael want to share with reading number three? Okay. Unity. Traditional viewpoints or methods. Spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends. We did mention budding friendships. I see, you see all of these things surrounding him. And th by the way, this is Archangel Sandalophon, so another Archangel. But you see, it's like you're, you're shifting your energy or you have shifted it recently. And now you are beginning to see things you didn't see before. You are attracting new people and new opportunities that are in alignment with this new version of you. Wow, I really love that. And this is card number five. Five is about change. Raphael helps to assist with life changes. And this card number 41 reduces to a five. All right, let's see if we can find out some more information. Okay, those flipped out. We have a six of water, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. Nine of water. This is our wishes fulfilled. Your wishes come true. Concerns fade away. A love life. King of water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity, work. Being charitable. Look at all this blue. You may be noticing people in blue. These may be some of the new people. Or what if you see a blue door? Keep your eyes open for that. You know, with this six of water right next to the nine of water, the six of water is about nostalgia and childhood. And then you have nine of water wishes coming true. So it could be a dream, something that you've been hoping for for a long time. For some of you, maybe even since childhood. And you have water, water, water. This is very... This is something you're gonna love, something that you are content with. Even this first card looks like a cup. You know, the, the water cards in this deck are the cups. You see the cups down here. So I see lots of emotion, lots of fulfillment. Even the moon, the moon is connected to water. It controls the tides. I think that you there's something you are changing in yourself, within yourself, that is balancing your emotions and allowing you to feel more content. 
more balanced, more emotionally balanced and fulfilled. All right, the sun. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Archangel Uriel, another archangel. This is also a card of success. <laughs> if you hear that little pitter-patter, that's Agnes. You can see her on Instagram. She had to come and congratulate your success. But you know, to have the nine of cups, nine of water, which is wishes coming true, and then to have the sun, success, happiness. Remember I told you, I see you, all of these, this water energy, these cups is happiness, fulfillment, and then you get the sun, which is happiness. Wow. Let's scoop these down so we can get one more. All right, let's just see what's at the bottom of the deck. Wow, look at that. Queen of Water. Tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Yeah, again, it's like you are channeling divine love. You're channeling love. It's all your experiencing love all around you you're in your element um this is like the water signs like imagine i just i'm getting a strong cancerian energy um so you may be a cancer but not necessarily or Scorpio, Pisces are also water signs, but really they were showing me cancer. Um, but it could be any of those. It's just being in your element is what I'm hearing. And lots of emotion, but it's, it's happiness. Remember, door to personal healing and happiness. Some of you may meet somebody that just gives you one little tweak, uh, one little nugget of information that kind of gives you this aha moment, uh, this realization, this epiphany that gives you a little shift and all of a sudden you start to see these possibilities, these opportunities all around you. For some of you, it may be more of a traditional sense. And for some of you, it's creating your own traditions and veering away from societal or cultural traditions, kind of creating your own. Take it as it resonates. But I do see you entering a period of bliss, happiness, joy, possibilities, fulfillment, contentment. It's really beautiful. And really, it seems like you have one card of advice and everything else is the result of that, this temperance, bringing things into balance. And, you know, the first card we got after that, <clears throat> excuse me, was door to personal healing and happiness. And look at this water. There's a spring there, a little waterfall, more water. You even have the rainbow, which comes from the water. I'm hearing some of you may have been crying a lot in the past, but you're getting past that. You're there again, there's this shift and the temperance card can mean, you know, by you're bringing things into balance by 
leaving a habit behind or an addiction. And this could be to anything. It doesn't have to be to um, cigarettes or drugs or sugar. It can be an addiction to a way of thinking or behaving, um, how you spend your time, you know, on social media, for example, doom scrolling or um, just doing too much of anything. For example, let's say somebody loves to read, but that's all they do is they just read and it's like an escape into these books, but they don't do anything in their own life. That's not being in balance and in that case, this seemingly healthy activity can turn into something detrimental, a poison. So I see it, I see you being very successful at shifting this energy and bringing everything into balance and following your happiness, opening this door to your healing and your happiness, which is going to lead you to new doorways, new opportunities, new possibilities. Really, really nice reading. Reading number three, please let me know how this resonates. I'm so happy for you. And for some of you, there are some budding new friendships, relationships. Really exciting. I see you attracting all kinds of people and possibilities. I love to read your comments. Please let me know how this relates to what's going on in your life. And you're always welcome to reach out to me for additional guidance by connecting me, connecting with me through my website. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you. Bye.